Well, Shanghai is backtracking on its plans to ease COVID-19 curbs. Authorities say restrictions will stay in place as infections continue to rise outside of quarantined areas. The move will prolong the agony for millions of residents who have been stuck at home for most of this month. The number of severe infections in the city has tripled to 159. Lo Minmin joins us live from Shanghai. Minmin, oh, there have been reports of entire communities in Shanghai being relocated 160 kilometers away from their homes. Why is this being done? And assuming that this is being done, how does this actually help curb the spread? Well, authorities are trying to achieve what they call social zero COVID. Now, that's a new term used to describe a situation where new cases are found only among those who are already in quarantine. Now, to do that, authorities appear to be quarantining, enti quarantining entire communities, including those who are not COVID positive. The BBC reported that residents from one compound has been asked to relocate to neighboring Zhejiang province, where they will stay for at least a week. Now, last weekend, officials had already relocated an entire village of over 2,000 people overnight because there were too many positive cases there. Now, experts are saying that it's scientifically not possible to end community-level transmission in a matter of days, which is exactly what Shanghai is trying to do. They want to achieve social zero COVID by yesterday, but so far they have not been successful with over 400 cases still detected outside quarantined areas today. Experts say the only way to achieve social zero COVID is that whenever they pick up new cases, they declare these areas as under quarantine as well. Amimin, as we mentioned before, uh, severe cases tripling, but daily infections actually dropping to their lowest in 15 days. But authorities still concerned about further spread. That's right. As you said, even though overall numbers are dropping, but the severe cases are still rising and 20 people are now critically ill. And analysts say that judging from that trend, the death toll in the coming days could possibly climb into double digit, especially because many of Shanghai's elderly are not fully vaccinated. Less than 40 percent have gotten the third booster jab. And the majority of those who have died so far are elderly and unvaccinated. And so authorities have now rolled back on plans to ease curbs. My compound, my district, for instance, uh, just released an official announcement today saying that all precautionary areas in, the, in this district will be upgraded to controlled areas. Now, what this means is that residents will no longer be allowed to exit their compounds, even if there are no positive cases detected in their vicinity within the last 14 days. Now, the district of Chongming, which has already achieved social zero COVID, uh, will continue to keep up most of its lockdown measures, even though by right, 90% of its residents should have been allowed to exit their compounds by today. Oh, thanks for that update. Lo Min Min reporting live to us there from Shanghai.